Hey guys, it's Cindy over at Paper Old and New. Um, welcome to my channel. Thanks for stopping by and spending some time with me. Um, this is going to be a Roxy's Weekly Challenge. I'm doing week 48. We're going to play with some envelopes. Um, but this is also going to be... This might be my final video for a while, guys. I'm going to be taking a hiatus, and I wanted to talk about that while I'm working on this. Um, to start us off, we are creating these little envelope things that Rachel made, which were a lot of fun. And I do not, she used glassine envelopes. I do not have any, so we're going to be decorating paper envelopes. But the idea is still the same. And the first thing I'm going to do is glue these two together. Let me get a new glue stick. I used my last one up. I'm using these baby glue sticks. See, compared to like... <laughs> I do like the um, uh, Tombow Mono glue sticks. They they stick. Um, they're they're strong. They they're it's a good adhesive. Uh, anyway, okay. So I this is um, not part of what she did, but I'm making I'm creating what I'm going to decorate my flap with. So while I'm doing that, I just want to let you know. Um, what my idea is, um, or the reason I'm going to be taking a break is <laughs> I just don't have enough hours in a day and I want to concentrate on getting my Etsy shop up and running. This, however, may be my last video. Um, I think you're going to see it before Christmas and I am not going to be back over the holidays and I will be gone for... I'm thinking at least until March 1st. I am hoping that all of you who have so kindly, and I appreciate all of you who have, subscribed to my channel will stay with me. Uh, I will be returning. Um, I just really, really, really need to take a break from making videos. It takes a lot of time. I mean, as many of you know, and I'm sure, uh, it takes a lot of time for me to make these videos. And with trying to homeschool my daughter during the school year and getting through the holidays and everything else, I, I just feel like I don't have enough time to sit down and do the creating for my digitals that I really want to do. So I'm going to take some time to, t to get my Etsy shop up and running. So I'm hoping to be back March 1st. At the latest, it will be April 1st. So... I, like I said, I hope you guys will be kind enough to keep me on your subscribe list um, and maybe hit your bell so that when I do come back, you'll get a notification letting you know that I'm back. Um, and in the meantime, I am going to, you know, work on... Um, first of all, getting my Etsy shop up and running. Also... As you know, I've been doing pick a project videos with you guys and you've been watching me work on several journals and <laughs> it's a slow process for me. Um, but what I'm hoping is that while I am gone, I will be able to finish those. And when I come back, not only will I let you guys know about my shop, I will flip through those journals. I will finish them up and show you the finished products and um, we'll have some flip throughs and some hopefully some kits for me to show you and you know whatever else is going on in the shop so um, again if you hit the notification bell um, it will let you know when my videos go up so you'll know when the next one goes up when I return um, uh, and I really appreciate everybody who has supported me so far uh, along this journey, uh, that I'm, uh, that I've undertaken. And, um, I, I hope that you guys will, uh, stick with me and be here when I get back and, um, you know, all of that sort of thing. I am going to craft while my uh, channel is down. Um, 
I just won't be doing anything major because I'll be putting my efforts into um, my shop. So, like I said, I feel like I'm repeating myself. I, I really just, um, you know, hope you guys will stay with me and I will definitely see you when I get back. And um, in the meantime, I will be keeping an eye on you guys. I will probably, you know, watch videos and, you know, all that sort of thing while I'm down. If um, you see me commenting here and there, uh, you'll know I'm not far. I'm just <laughs> busy. And uh, yeah, so there you have it. That's, that's my plan. Um, so in this video, I want to say Merry Christmas, Happy Holidays, and um, a Blessed New Year to everyone, since I will not be here for any of those things. Um, and I hope that um, everybody has uh, really blessed holidays. There we go. Okay, so the idea for these, jumping right back into what I was doing, is you put this little flip out on these envelopes and then you've got a pocket here right and you've got this little decorative flip out spot um i'm gonna get all of them put together and then we'll find something to decorate the flip out spot with but the other thing i want to do and she did suggest this i'm gonna admit to having watched this video several days ago and i cannot remember she said about putting like writing space or something here i don't remember if she did it so um, we are going to, well, first of all, I want to see if these are wide enough. I don't think they are. I think it's too, it won't cover the whole card. Not that that's a huge deal. I could decorate that edge. What about this one? That says project sketches. Let's do one of these. These are kind of heavy uh, paper. They're not, it's not a, they came out of a little uh, ringed binder journal, a little one, um, really cute. Another thing you could do, and I'm not gonna do it right now, but I may go back and do it later. You could slit this envelope open and decorate the inside or put a strip of paper here or whatever you wanted to do to decorate that and maybe do something about, we might do something about that white. I don't know. Like I said, it's gonna depend on how long this takes. So is everybody ready for Christmas? Um, I'm gonna miss you guys while I'm gone. Uh, like I said, I'll be coming on and watching videos during my hiatus and, you know, seeing what everybody's up to and uh, all of that. So, um, but I'll miss coming on here and kind of chatting with you anyway. So, um, but it's gotta be done if I, wanted, if I wanna get this. And I've been working on some kits. So I'm hoping like I said, when I get back, I'm hoping to launch them, show you guys the kits, um, uh, maybe make journals out of them as I launch them and, you know, go from there. So, yeah. Or maybe I'll make some journals. Some journals maybe I'll make on my own and show them to you as a launch, and then other ones maybe I'll come on and make with you but okay trim that off even and I didn't glue down far enough so we're gonna have to put some glue under here this does two things actually it gives you writing space but it also covers up like some of these envelopes that I get in the mail these are from you know like when you get um those companies that send you, uh, like cards, they're real cheap. The paper's real flimsy. The cards are real, they're cute. I mean, they have really cute pictures on them and they're really great for using in journals. And I got glue on my thing. Um, but the, uh, 
the paper is really thin. So that's the other reason I might cut that cut that open and line it is because that paper is really really thin. But the other thing about them is on this flap it's not a peel and stick. It's a so gluing a piece of paper over that will keep it from activating and sticking to anything. Like if you live in a humid area, sometimes those can get tacky, you know, that sort of thing. So, but anyway, okay. So that would be that one and it would flip. You could, um, just clip it to a page or tuck it in a pocket. Uh, so there's one, sorry, I know I'm rambling. It makes me nervous that I'm leaving for a little while. So I'm, I'm rambling and I'm losing things. Well, that's not new, but <laughs> Okay, let's do this one. What was I gonna do with this? Oh, I left stuff and no notes. Good, good. I love it when I do this to myself. Okay. Oh, this is double-sided. So. Was I doing that? No, that can't be right. That can't be right. Oh my goodness, guys. Okay, I think first we're gonna cut the card. All right, so let's measure the envelope and then maybe it'll come back to me while I'm... <laughs> One, two, three, four, five and a quarter. So let's cut this five and a quarter. Actually, I'm gonna cut it this way. I don't wanna cut the one I just made, so let's get it out of the way. One, two, three, four, five and a quarter. This is a full, this is a full sheet, isn't it? I don't have anything to line up with down there anyway. That's my acetone spot. I keep trying to line cardstock up on it like that's gonna work. But I think I need my long ruler. One, two, three, four, five, and a quarter. Um. So anyway, uh, I've gotten to the point where I like, um, <laughs> I like flippy things. I like things that, you know, um, that flip out and open up and all that kind of stuff. I don't know. I think it adds a little something extra to your journal. Interactive, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter. Okay. Makes your journal a little, a little more interactive and fun to have, you know, flip outs and all kinds of stuff. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter. I don't always know what to do with them when I've made them or <laughs> still working on that guys. But yeah, I do think they're a lot of fun. Okay. So now this um, envelope isn't decorated on this side. And what I might do, oh, look at that. I might put a pocket on it. Let's clip. You know what? I haven't used my oval in a while for a thumbnail. It makes it a little bit wider. Right? A little shallow, a little wide. Okay. And then, um, that'll make a fun pocket, right? I have a pocket on that side of the envelope. And then this is a pocket. And I loved the polka dot. You know me, guys. I love polka dots. So I loved the polka dots. So what I think we're going to do is we're going to glue it to the outside of the flap again. Does it fit? I want to make sure I cut it right. Or should I do it this way? Let's do it this way. Right? Does it matter? I don't know. Now the rose looks upside down to me. That's weird. 
I feel like the rows shouldn't look upside down either way. It's not really. Okay, whatever. Let's glue stuff down. But anyway, as I was saying, I like, um, that's why I think I like flip-flop journals so much. I swear one of the things I want to do while I'm on my, while I'm on my break is grab my box of envelopes and make a whole bunch of flip-flop journal bases. Just sit down in front of the TV and flip-flop journal base away. Okay, like that. Let's get my glue so thing so I don't squeeze glue out everywhere, and we'll we'll moosh, or we won't. Yes, we will. I'm stubborn. We will moosh. Okay, now I think what I wanted to do with the red, I don't know why I folded it, unless it was to cut a piece off. I think what I wanted to do with the red, I don't like this green and this teal together. That's just personal preference. It's just me. Uh, somebody else might be looking at it going, that looks fine. Don't worry about it. Um, so I think I wanted to put this on here, but I want to keep the polka dots. And this has dots on it. So yeah, I think that'll be fun. So I think this is going to be my back liner, but it's not going to cover the whole thing. Right? Okay. So let's do that. And what did we say we cut this to seven and a quarter? I'm gonna go ahead and cut this so that we can work with just this piece of it, just the piece of it we need. And I can stick a glue stick to it, right? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven and a quarter. This is a uh, single-sided, uh, actually it was single-sided, right? Yeah, single-sided paper. Um, so it's not cardstock is what I'm getting at <laughs> in my very roundabout way. That's what I'm getting at. Um, I think we're going to put these ones together and then I do have one that I picked out some decorations and stuff for. So we might just decorate that one and, um, and then I will say Merry Christmas and a temporary see, uh, and, a, and a see you later. Not a goodbye, but a see you later. Um, once we get that accomplished. Sorry, we got a lot of laundry going on right now. So if you guys are hearing clicking and whirring and beeping and twirling and whatever in the background, it's laundry day. Um, okay, so that's that one. And like I said, these white strips where the envelope, that's where the glue is supposed to seal to the envelope. Those I will probably decorate with something when I go to decorate this up and put it wherever I'm going to put it. On the other side of this one, since this isn't decorated, I thought we would put this pocket. And I'm actually, I know this is going to sound weird to you guys because I always clip my, corner po my pocket corners I'm actually thinking about leaving these ones sharp, um, mostly because it fits with the envelope corners, right? So that's the biggest reason I'm doing it. Um, and this one, the inside of the flap got decorated rather than, um, or I put paper down rather than writing surface. Uh, I guess with a dark enough felt tip pen, you could write on that. I'm pretty sure Sharpie would show up. And with all the layers, it wouldn't bleed through. Um, but again, because I decorated it, um, rather than just covering up the glue strip, it's probably something that I would clip in or fold around and clip or, you know, like that. Okay, I, I suppose there's no right way up until I put this pocket on here. Okay, let's smoosh it. I don't want to stick. 
I got this L.L. Bean catalog that we're not ordering anything out of. I, I like their stuff, but I'm just not ordering anything out of it. Um, it's got tons of pages in it. These make great glue books. Because I don't mind flipping the page like every two glues. Alright, all that excess glue off of there. And we'll call this one ready to set aside for later. Now, most of these are going to get put in my to-do box. One of them will go in my Roxy journal. Uh, that is also something that I will flip through with you guys um, when I get back because hopefully it will be finished. Whatever I'm going to put in, it's going to be in it. And um, there's room that I'm going to add to it. So, okay, so we got those two done. Now, this should be dry. I kind of cobbled something together here because what I think I'm going to do with this one is I like this flap. So what I think I'm going to do with this one is I'm going to start further down so that a strip of that peeks out. Which means I need to mark. Oh, well, I need to mark it, but oh, there's my pencil. My pencil wasn't in this little box. All right, so we're going to cut right there. And we're going to cut right there. No measuring required. Well, sort of measuring required, but you know what I mean. All right, so let's get this. I'll line the pencil mark up on a line and then line the ruler up on said line. And then we should be able to cut straight. <laughs> she says with a straight face. No pun intended. I swear even with a ruler and a straight, uh, a straight edge and a cutter, I... Nothing I cut comes out exactly straight. Okay, I'll hold on to that. I glued them together to make this, and it's kind of cute, so I'm going to hold on to it. Heck, I might fold it over on itself and make a little... I don't know deal with that later. Look at me getting distracted. I didn't cut my line. Oh good, I'm cutting that off. That's actually got a perforation in it. So I'm kind of glad that part of that is going. Oh. I'm not paying attention. I'm kind of rushing. I kind of don't want this to... I, I, it's just... I have a lot to do. I'm not trying to make excuses, I swear. All right, so let's put this on here nice and straight. Right? And I'm thinking I might mark uh, really faintly. Right there and right there. I mean, I know it's, you're going to, might be able to see the pencil marks. I suppose I could go slightly back. I just want this to go down straight. I haven't gone on my trip yet, guys. I know I said when I get back, I was going to like show you my glue book and all that. And um, I still plan on sharing, but <laughs> again, it will be in the spring when I get back. I do have plans, and I'm going to write them all down, because otherwise I'll forget. I, I have plans. I guess I don't really need to worry about that. I can glue that over, and I don't have to worry about trying to cut it off or anything. It's the only reason I'm doing it. Sometimes I feel like it's easier to glue it than to mess with trying to... It's laundry day because it's the weekend. And um, all of those who need their laundry done for work... No. 
That would be silly. Actually, on this one, uh, I might just glue book page. Something like this in here and then use it as like a pocket, like I said. So, yeah, let's, we're gonna put this down. Do I wanna do this with, yeah, it'll be quicker. So, I'm actually gonna go all the way over to the crease. We're gonna go all the way around, get all our edgies, get some glue in there. Okay. And I'm going to put this one down. Also, I spoke when I returned about um, having other projects. So my pick a project series will continue uh, when I get back. Also the making with my mess series will continue when I get back. We stopped off at number 10 with pick a project. And I know that, like I said, you have guys haven't seen any of the flip throughs, um, but I will get them done and flip through them with you when I come back. Uh, and then for the making with my mess, uh, we left off at number 16 and we will continue that series in the new year as well. So I'm looking forward to all of that. I want to wait till that glue dries before I do any cutting. So that one's going to get, um, this will probably, cause that is so deep. I will most likely cut this envelope open and decorate that. Um, and this is one that this will be a pocket. So I will glue this on the page and then this will flip out, right? Okay, so those are those three, which we probably will not decorate today. This one, on the other hand, I have put together all kinds of stuff and we are going to, as you can see, speaking of cutting open envelopes, I cut this one open and I covered it, okay? I just have to remember what I did because I know there was a lot to it. Get our glue book down and hopefully, all right, that's gonna be, nope. First of all, we need to turn it over correctly and it's going to go that way. That's going to be our flip out piece. It's a piece of scrapbook paper that I cut down and I folded it in half and it was going to be a little booklet. And then I decided, you know what? I don't like, um, I, I didn't, I don't dislike it, but I like it better like this. I like it better for this project because the whole picture shows. This would have been the back of the book, little sewing frame, mannequin, whatever you call them. Not a seamstress. I don't know what they're technical, technically called. but I like the whole picture together. So I went ahead and decided to use it on here. All right, so that is our flip out. And here we are going to put this, okay? It's going to be some journaling paper and we're going to cover up that little, this came out of, remember all those 39 clues books I busted up? That's where this came from. So yeah, it's got a little dragon at the top that I don't want in this particular project. I don't mind the little dragon emblem. He'd be great if I was making a dragon book, but I don't feel like this is really a dragon themed piece, being that it has a sewing mannequin and I don't know fairy dragon maybe with all the pink and the flowers but I am 
going to cover it up with some decorating. So let's get this in here. Let's move this because I just got glue all over it. And we're going to put this, actually I want to line the bottom up and we'll trim the top. And I got it so it doesn't interfere with the crease. What I do like about this paper from the 39th Clues books is it was very absorbent. It doesn't really seem to have any kind of coating or anything on it. So the coffee dye, when I coffee dyed it, it went all the way through the page. So when I tear it, I don't know if you can see that. When you tear it, it, it's, it doesn't have a white center. It coffee dyed all the way through. I mean, I guess most of the paper that I do, that like copy paper, now um, cardstock doesn't always, because I just don't, I just don't leave it in there coffee long enough because I'm afraid it's going to disintegrate. Okay. Ugh, nope, not okay. That does not have glue on it, guys. Ah, did we get it now? I think that got it. Okay. Next thing, this is going to go down on here, and this is going to go like that, I think. How did I have this on here? Like that? Not like that, right? Maybe like that? No. That's not right. No. I think pretty sure I had the big one up because I wanted the flat side against the paper. The, the, the more, I wanted more of the paper showing. Okay. And I think we're going to cut the lace off. I was screaming. Did you hear that? Cut it off right there. Might use it. Okay, um, I'm going to glue stick it down only because this mono glue stick does pretty good. So see, does it come down over that? So I'm just going to put glue stick on here. And then the flowers are going to get well, I was going to use glue stick on them too, but since it's gluing to lace, I'm going to use Fabri-Tac. So on this end, they will also have Fabri-Tac on them. So that will help hold the lace. So there's that. And then... That'll go on there like that. So, oh, hold on, accident. Okay, I'm back. My son was getting a Pepsi bottle out of the fridge and he dropped it. <laughs> Told him to go open it over a sink. Or outside, one of the two. This is gonna make a mess. All right. Back to what we were doing. All right, so we'll put this down. This is moving right along, guys. I'm kind of happy with how this is. Nope. Put it on there the way you had it. Kind of happy with the way this is turning out. Okay. Let me put this lid on this and that. All right, so that's the inside of our. Now, um, I did some trimming here and I'm not real thrilled with how it turned out. So what we're going to do is we're going to glue the sides of this closed and then I have some fabric pieces that I'm going to use for like kind of covering. We'll see how it goes. I had them on here in a way that I liked. So I'm hoping that I can still do that. See, so it'll go, it'll wrap around like that. Let 
Not that little piece, maybe we'll stick that under there. I don't like it. Um, and then the other, this was going to connect to one of them. Like so. And then this one is going to go long ways like that. Actually, I think I had it the other way. So the pink goes over here and this goes long ways on this side with this. Yeah, I think that's how I had it. Let's go the envelope shut. So this was one I cut open and I'm not lining the whole thing. I just lined the um, top part there where it's open, where you can see. And then I made the mistake of removing some of the um, some of the inside parts of the envelope. And when I ended up cutting it, I didn't like the way it looked. See, I don't like that. I don't like that shape. Plus more shows on this side than that side. And I, it's just a mess. So we are going to decorate it. Let's get the glue stick back out. This is going to go right on here like this. Um, so far, I have not had any trouble with um, the Tombow glue sticks holding fabric. It's a nice tacky glue. So, so far it has held up really well for me. Um, I am going to pull this tight. I don't want it to be a tab. I want it to be like a, almost like a wrap around piece of tape on the side of the envelope. Okay, so yeah, it's cute. These are, <laughs> it's actually one of Roxy's, I mean, Rachel's, one of Roxy's weekly challenge weeks. Rachel's, um, where we did the acrylic markers and mark did mark making on fabric. Yeah, that's what these are from. So fun, right? It's always nice when you get to use a project like okay put this one on here I have um, gotten to the point where I really enjoy the addition of fabric or lace or something either frilly or glitzy or you know I like doing all of that sort of thing the, the decorating up um, so yeah whenever I get a chance to use some of my fabric pieces or whatever I, I do I do okay so that gets our envelope closed and we have our pocket here I'm not going to mess with it because I don't want the glue to come loose we'll wait till it sets okay so after we get those on this i wanted to put across here maybe i'll do it up the side what do you guys think i could do it in the pink down this side I don't like it as much with the pink. I like it with the black. I think it's because there's black here that pulls this black out of the middle, whereas the pink just kind of blends in with the flower. Does that make sense to you guys? Yeah, no, doesn't make sense to me either, but there you go, my brain in action. No, oh, not too much. I don't want it to be too much glue. I want it to be enough to hold, but not. I have discovered, and this is for anybody who's interested, that if you are able and you can put the glue on the paper instead of on the fabric, because I did a lot of on the fabric, um, it allows you to keep your fluffy ends, your frayed edges, without them getting all gluey. And then you put the fabric down in the glue that you've put on the paper. 
So yeah, that's the decorated one. I like the way it turned out. I really do love it. Um, I hope you guys enjoyed my take on these little envelopes. Um, I hope it gave you some ideas. Uh, again, I hope that you will um, click your notification bell so that you know when I get back. I hope that you will stick with me and, um, you know, all my subscribers, I am grateful to you. Um, if you're watching and you haven't subscribed, uh, come back and see me in April and think about, um, subscribing to my channel and, um, you know, becoming a member and I will hopefully have lots of new stuff to bring you in March or April, whenever I get back. So Merry Christmas and Happy New Year and God bless. And I will see you guys in the spring. Bye-bye.